Welcome back to Graffiti University Comics. Today we're going to be talking about some of my main characters in my comic book that uh, a lot of people have been asking me about, uh, wanting to give me to give them the backstory of some of the characters. And today we're going to be talking about uh, Johnny. You know, Johnny was one of these uh, cool dudes that I grew up with living in the... Um, south memphis he lived in the good parts of south memphis you know and and to describe his character right he was one of those type of kids that um he was always selling something you know when i first met uh johnny when i first went to hamilton elementary he was selling candy bars you know and um and he was trying to get me to buy a candy bar and it was all smashed up or whatever and you know, and I told him, I said, man, listen, man, that candy bar don't look right, you know. But as time go on, get, got as we got older, he started, you know, dealing with street drugs, you know, selling weed and marijuana, you know. And and one thing I could sell by him, you know, but he was, you know, one of those guys that I really got to like. He was like one of the white white guys that grew up in the neighborhood and he was cool with everybody and he had a little swag about himself as well he he i'm pretty sure you know at the at that at that age though i mean i don't i don't remember or recall anybody like really doing um being prejudiced or or uh rate doing racial things towards him you know, but I'm pretty sure he experienced it because, you know, I remember a couple of times I seen him getting them into to fights or whatever. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to bring his story into um, my world of comics because I felt like he was somebody that had an impact on my life as well. He was like one of the first people that I seen hustling candy, you know, and he had a hustle about himself, you know, and um. But like I said, as he got older, he started selling weed and smoking weed, you know. And, and at that age, I really wasn't into smoking weed or none, nothing like that. I was more into like, I was still had a, a, um, a young boy. Um, I really won the kid that was on the blocks at that age, you know. And he really wasn't needed. He come from a good family, you know. They lived on the other side of South Memphis, like I said, in the good neighborhoods where people um where it was a lot of people that had nice homes like on parkway i mean if you was from south memphis you would know you know that that was some of the areas okay now as for his brother me describing his brother you know um his brother was one of those kids that he didn't really get into trouble he was more of a, a video game a player he was more in, into atari you know if you was growing up in the early 80s you know that atari was the number one uh gaming console and we was the type that loved to play those type of games you know and he was one of those type that loved playing video games and collecting baseball cards and things like that so and he really didn't hang with us you know or he really did, i didn't really hang with them but they was very popular in the school because they was like the only white kids in the school out of the whole black school so they was more uh they stood out more in our neighborhood and so for that cause you know i felt as though bringing them into my comic book telling their side of the story you know that was just something that i felt as though that needed you know to to either like you know because i want my comic books to be more for every race you know i want to be able to tell the stories and t and bring the characters into my world where people can understand the lifestyle that we lived and and what it was like growing up in South Memphis. So I'm glad y'all was able to come back to my page. You know, I really got a lot out of, you know, you all giving me feedback through the emails or whatever. And like I said, if you ever want to to get any of my books most of my books the book links will be in my post on uh amazon.com and lulu.com and i thank everyone who ever come to my page and support my brand check us out and keep up with us stay tuned